hey beautiful people welcome and welcome back to the channel it's still here if you're seeing my face for the first time on this channel i talk about life in the uk nursing and my travel adventures i am a registered nurse currently practicing here in the uk and today we are going to be having a heart to heart talk i have received loads of messages um, regarding my last few videos about me moving to australia and a lot of things and i am really worried and i have to come on here to give you a bit of insight on why I am leaving the UK and because I don't want to pass across as someone who discourages people um, most of you that have been watching my videos you already know that I am a big sucker for, for career progression advancement coming into the UK I've also given you loads of information about the UK and why you should come here to practice as a nurse in the UK so me posting my um australia video i have gotten mixed reaction from people especially people that are not here in the uk if you know what i mean people that are still in nigeria or back in africa like most of them were like oh why are you leaving now that i'm planning to come is it that bad and all that guys 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 the uk is not bad i mean look at me am i not glowing enough i mean if it was this bad, I wouldn't be glowing this much, okay? So, I am here to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. I'm here to, like, justify my action. <laughs> like, I don't know, but I feel a little bit guilty, if you know what I mean, as someone who has motivated a lot of people to take their IELTS to come to the UK, and all of a sudden, I'm leaving, and then I'm just... I just need to talk to you guys, okay? So... I'll start off with saying the UK has been an amazing place to practice. I don't think the wealth of knowledge I've gotten from the NHS will be compared to anything I've ever seen or heard of in the world. It's one of the best places to practice as a nurse, believe you me. Um, but there are just some things that I need right now that probably the UK might not provide it now or the UK is not providing now. I will tell you guys all that in this video. So. If this looks like something you would love, sit back and enjoy this video. Now, the very first reason why I, dare your goodness, will be living in the UK is because I am a lover of adventure. Right. Call adventure, you call me. I mean, I want to always try new things, okay? I don't know how people stay in a particular job for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Honestly, I don't know, but I can't see myself doing the same thing for that long, but yeah i love adventure i love to try new things and at this moment i want to try a new country i want to practice nursing in a new country so far i've been to like 13 countries and i've practiced nursing in like three countries i want to like practice as a nurse in another country at this point in my life that is the reason why i'll be living in the uk okay so do not feel that the uk is bad that's why i'm leaving as we go along with this video i'm still going to share more reasons why i'm leaving so but before we go ahead, let's give a big shout out to the sponsors of today's video. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Teddy Blake. If you are an OG on this channel, you know that Teddy Blake has amazing bags. And I've told you guys about these bags before, but I'm here to give you more exciting news. Right. So Teddy Blake's will be launching a sales. Like they are almost always on sales most of the time because... Guys, I always have a peep on their website so that I can buy a new bag all the time. But now they are going to have Christmas sales starting from the 9th of December 2022. So guys, what this means is that you might be having up to 75% off most bags. Already at the moment, most bags are already like 60% off. And if you buy any time from December 9th, you will be lucky to get about 75% off most luxury bags. A Teddy Blake is Italian made. I've told you before, it is like one of the best luxurious bags you can ever have. Look at this bag. You guys know when I had this bag, right? You guys know when I unboxed this bag. Look at how beautiful it still looks. I have used this bag to travel. I went to Nigeria with this bag. If you've watched my Abuja blog, you know I went to Nigeria with this bag. This bag has been to beautiful places i went to the lake district with this bag and guys i went to london with this bag so this bag has been with me most of the time so guys if you're looking at buying a luxurious bag for your babes for your wife michael if you're watching this video i need a new bag <laughs> for 
your mom, anyone, like literally for yourself. These girls, treat yourself as well, okay? You deserve luxury once in a while. So make sure you shop with the link in my description box. After getting all the discount, you can actually get a further discount of $30 off your bag by using my code TBDEO30 to purchase your luxury item, okay? The next reason why I will be leaving the UK is because the UK is getting more and more expensive. Statistics by Manchester News shows that more of the British people are actually leaving the UK now. Like they've seen a lot of people applying for visas to other countries to leave, not for tourism, but to reside in these countries because of the increased cost of living in the UK. Most bills have skyrocketed at this point and the fact is it's getting more and more worse as the time goes on we know that the world is in recession at the moment but i just feel that right now the uk is just incredibly hard to live in so if i have another option definitely i will utilize it so this is the point where i have to tell you that if wherever you are at the moment is worse than the uk you better off take your leap of faith to come over to the uk okay now the uk might not be all that rosy boy but if it's better than where you are right now please make that move okay if you've been a subscriber to my channel you know that i've talked about the salaries in the uk most of the times and all that i mean if you also know me you know that i like to like work smart i don't really like i don't buy this idea of working hard i buy the idea of working smart so basically in the uk if you are under a visa which i am on you have to work full time with a certain employer and after you've got in your permanent stay then you don't need any contracts to stay with one employer and that time you can freely work anywhere you want now at the moment i can't do that because i'm under a visa right at the point i'm under nhs and if you know you know nhs workers are one of the lowest paid in the first world countries so when you call the first world country if you call us canada australia and all the like top countries the uk is one of the least paid so basically at this point it's just time for me to level up not that it is bad not that i can't live on it or not that it's it's unbearable it's bearable people are living people have survived the year but um just time for me to move to a better country that pays better than the uk so yes that's one of the reasons i'm leaving as well i know whenever you tell people that they'll say oh but the uk pays in british pounds yes they pay in pounds but even if you convert it to dollar the us dollar australia dollar canada dollar, they pay for nurses in nhs okay so the pay for nurses in nhs is still one of the lowest in the world the reason um the uk might be favorable to you because when you get your permanent stay you just go into full-time agency that's the only time you can live really really comfortable in the uk when you're a full-time agency nurse getting your bag okay but if you're gonna be part-time nhs and part-time agency you get your money but the stress is on another level okay the stress for working like five six times a week every week is not easy i won't i won't even lie it's not easy at all so yes that's one of the reasons i'll be leaving and if you are interested in knowing why i'm moving to australia let me know in the comment section i'll make another video telling you why i choose australia okay and also if you're in the uk and you're thinking of leaving the uk Tell me your reasons. Tell me your reasons in the comment section. Why are you living in the UK? Let me know if you have plans or if you think that you would be living in the UK. Let me know in the comment section. Let's have a heart to heart talk, okay? It's not just me because I know a lot of my friends that have left to the US or they are leaving to Canada, okay? So if you're living in the UK or you're planning to leave the UK, let me know in the comment section, okay? Another reason why I will be leaving the UK is it's because of job opportunities okay when it comes to job opportunities it is an established fact that healthcare workers find it very easy to get jobs here and there but how about other people okay the uk's market is not so good to people that are not in the healthcare or tech field so if you're not in tech or healthcare it's not that favorable to you because one even if you get a job you will get a job even if you're not in healthcare but the pay might not be that good and also working environment might not be also good for you so i am not only thinking about myself i'm going to bring my family here 
when my siblings come to me and they are not into the healthcare field, what are they going to do? So I think of all those things and I feel like, mm, yeah, it might not be a favorable place for them. Even if it's okay for me, it might not be okay for my family at this point anymore. Another reason why I'll be leaving the UK is because it takes a longer period to get permanent residency here in the UK. Now, for the UK, if you're under a tier 2 visa, it takes about 5 solid years for you to get a permanent residence. You have to stay an extra 1 year before you can apply for a citizenship, which is a total of 6 years. However, this is not the same for other first world countries. Other first world countries, some of the times, if you're going in as a nurse, you get your permanent residency from this onset. Otherwise, after a year, two years, you can apply for a permanent residency. So yes, this is one of the reasons why I will be leaving the UK. As when I bring my siblings in, I don't want them to have difficulty getting their permanent. Another reason why I'm leaving the UK, this reason might not be all that important, but guys, trust me, it is the little things that matter. It's the weather. I really don't like cold, okay? I'm one of the people that... When it comes to winter, I don't even go out. I dread standing up from the bed to go out. I dread like, I, I, I don't want to go out. I just want to lay in bed. I just want to like sleep all day long. And I don't even want to go to night shift when it's winter. So yes, this is one of the reasons why I'm leaving because the weather here in the UK, especially where I live, is either extremely hot or extremely cold. So it is not like a very balanced weather and it's raining almost all the time, guys. I can't deal. I know it's not an important reason, but it's the little things, okay? Oh, don't shoot me. <laughs> Another reason why I'll be leaving the UK, although this reason also is not important, is This always brings arguments whenever I say this. They were like, oh, yes, I know that there are some houses in the UK that are really big, spacious and all. But guys, you need to be a multi-millionaire to get those houses. And it's not so in most countries. Most countries, every house has big space. Like they have a big lounge. They have a big bathroom. They have a big bedrooms. They have lots of spaces and all that. And for some reason in the UK, you really, really do not see those kind of houses. And even if you see it, they are extremely, extremely, extremely expensive. Trust me. And to be fair, this place I am, it's it's okay for a UK standard. It's very spacious. <laughs> but when I start having kids, guys, I want a very big, big lounge. Like, I want my kids to play in a very big lounge, not a limited space where they will be struggling. You know, no, no. So I want a good space for affordable price. If you know, I mean, like if you're from Africa, you know how big our our rooms are. You know how big, you know, you know how big and you don't really need to be so expensive. You just have that space. For some reason, mm, the UK might not give you that, except you're a millionaire in pounds. I want to say it's in pounds because you might be a millionaire in Naira and you think, oh, if you come, you get no. No, 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 no. You need to be a millionaire in pounds to get that massive space, okay? So, yes, I know it's not a good reason. Just say, it comes to a point in your life, your priority changes, your needs changes, and all that. So, now at this point, my needs, priority, everything has changed. I want to still say this that if you're still in Nigeria or you're still back in Africa, these, my reasons are not important reasons, okay? These, my reasons are not enough to keep you back in nigeria say okay no i have to go to canada only or i have to go to us only um if if it's not australia i'm not leaving the country no please 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 do not do not do that because i know a lot of people that have said oh they're not going to come to uk for so many reasons like most of the reasons i've listed they say oh they're not going to come to uk for these reasons and they've stayed in nigeria and years and years and years and Unfortunately, the Canada visa is not coming up, the US visa is not coming up, the Australia visa is not coming up. So they've been there for years. So imagine these people have come to the UK and worked in the UK for two, three years, save up money to go to other countries. Right, it would have still been gold met, but just that the route changed, but it's still the same goal they've achieved, right? So this is just me encouraging you. The UK is not a bad place. You can see how comfortable I live. I live on my UK salary comfortably. Just that if you need extra, you need to work extra smart or leave the UK. So yes, these are the reasons why I'm leaving. I hope you love my content enough to subscribe and follow my journey through to Australia. 
and let me know in your comment section if you find these kind of videos useful and i'll see you guys in my next one